Hi everybody, um, today I'm gonna record this short video uh, telling you more about how you can get started technically with our devices, uh, where to find the technical information, etc. My name is Lumi Yanchev, I'm the CEO of M Climate, uh, and those of uh, you who know me know that I'm uh, very technical and I love the technical aspect of our devices. So we're trying to be uh, very nice and tidy and keep all the documentation in basically one place. But uh, let me tell you how to reach it and what kind of tools do we offer. So we have uh, our website and if you go here and you scroll right down to the bottom, this is the fastest way. Uh, you have this link, Lot One Technical Resources. Um, and in this page, you're going to be uh, met with this technical information, basically links to every device. If I come here, I'm going to access the documentation of, uh, of Viki, but I'm going to talk about this later. Uh, and we have such links for every device here. Um, second, here we have uh, links to information, uh, basically instructions on how to connect your uh, Lot One network server to our application server, so to the uh, M Climate Enterprise, the IoT platform that we have for our own products. And uh, depending on what kind of LNS you have, you're gonna be having you know different instructions on how to do it. Um, then we have basically three tools that we have developed. The first one is the battery lifetime calculator, uh, which allows you to see to forecast the battery life of your device based on the conditions you want to put it in. Uh, we have the Lot One Payload Helper, which is a, an amazing tool, especially to get started, to start composing downlinks to the device, to uh, decode the uplinks um, while you're testing something. Um, and then we have the TRV uh, compatibility tool, which basically tells you, you currently have this radiator thermostat, what adapter should I use in order to uh, use Viki, or should I use an adapter at all? But let's go one by one. So if you <clears throat> click on any of those, I'm going to click on Viki, you're going to access this docs.mclimate.eu uh, page where you have basically all the information about the device. You have uh, the user manual, um, the operational parameters, uh, some uh, uh, data sheet, um, and links to everything. And here we have organized them by group so you can easily navigate it. But um, yeah, if you want to get to the uplink decoder, here it is. You just got to uh, copy and paste it. We have a couple of versions for the different platforms. Um, then we have the actual uh, communication protocol. So this is this goes in a lot of depth, uh, kind of uh, splitting into bytes and bits, uh, explaining what each message uplink from Viki can, uh, what it means, but also how to compose downlinks. So if I take a look at, I don't know, maybe the child lock function. We have a set and a get uh, command, so a short explanation, how to set it, uh, 0, 07, 0, 01 to enable it, and then if you write 14 as a downlink, you're gonna receive a response 14, and then the status, whether, whether it's um, uh, enabled or disabled. We have information about the algorithms that um, we we offer inside Viki for the temperature control, and, um, uh, etc. And the the thing that I like here most is the basically the release notes which we have for every product, but basically um, information of on, on what changes we've done for this firmware. Of course, we don't up upload firmware every every month. Um, we put a lot of effort into building uh, high quality firmwares. Um, and another thing that I like for every product is that you got a common cheat sheet. So for those technical of you that want to, um, you know, understand which command to send, um, it's uh, it's pretty nifty. So I'm going to go back to the um, uh, Lot One Technical Resources page to show you the other tools that we have. Uh, but this is it as far as documentation goes. So let's say you have um, a device running on the Things Network and you want to connect it to the enterprise. You click here and then you have uh, the uh, information, the instructions on how to do it. And for some uh, LNS is it's easier for some it's a bit harder like for example for helium it includes multiple steps but uh, here you have all the instructions then the battery lifetime calculator it's an interesting tool um, when you access it you can kind of change different things about the, the device so you can say okay let's say it works on 20 minutes am I gonna have a change in battery life yes some a couple of percentage but let's 
compared to SF12 uh, on 10 minutes, which is the most energy intensive one. Uh, you get 3.4 years expected battery lifetime. On SF11, you get six years, but uh, let's compare 3.4 on SF12, comparing 20 minutes communication interval with uh, 10 minutes. So with 20 minutes, you see that you can almost uh, double the lifetime of your device. And we have it for basically all the devices that we have currently out. Uh, you can play with different things. For example, here you can say, okay, how, or with open close, you can say, okay, like, um, how, how, how many daily events do I have, etc. So just going back to the payload helper. The payload helper, it's an amazing tool. Um, allows you to kind of quickly uh, create um, downlinks for your device without, uh, you know, um, just looking at the documentation um, constantly. So let's say I want to set the target, uh, the temperature range between, let's say, 10 and 21. Uh, I write it here, I click on it, and then I have a downlink that I can send. If you click on the um, question mark, then you're going to be taken to the documentation page. But let's say I want to set the target temperature range, but I also want to, uh, I don't know, maybe set the target temperature currently. What is the target temperature? So let's say I want 16. I click on uh, at, and then I have one um downlink that i can send to the device uh to get this and i can copy it in hex or in base 64. here we have the uplink decoder basically the script that runs on the lns uh, is the same thing just gets the uplink and decodes it but uh you know it's easier to to have it as a separate tool especially if you're testing and last but not least the trv compatibility tool <coughs> It's uh, a way for you to <clears throat> later in stage when you start, uh, you, w when you start deploying, <clears throat> especially Wiki devices, to kind of make sure that you're prepared for the installation. But uh, here you can search the existing um, <clears throat> TRV which is installed on the radiator and see if Wiki is compatible and you know whether you need any adapter. So you can do it by picture, um, by model. Um, but you can also do it by uh, brand. So if I select the uh, brand, uh, the, the brand from here, um, I can say, uh, let's say it's uh, Danfoss. I'm going to be taken to kind of a filtered page and see only Danfoss uh, thermostats uh, or the ones that need actually a, a Danfoss um, adapter as well. So if I click here uh, on this one, let's say this one was my old radiator thermostat. Uh, I see that I need an adapter. It's compatible, but I need an adapter, and here I have a quick link. So I hope you like this one. I hope it's um, um, kind of orienting how to access the technical information because we try to organize everything very uh, nicely. If you have any comments, any suggestions, please reach out to us. Uh, we love to improve this documentation and kind of make it easier for you to, um, to orient yourself. So thank you.